Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to create custom dialog boxes using card windows. FileMaker's default custom dialog box has certainly served us well over the years, but there are many benefits to using a card window instead. Some of the benefits include being able to control the size of the window, the ability to display more than three buttons, the ability to control the size of the buttons to allow for longer text within them, and my favorite, the ability to close the custom dialog box automatically without the user having to click OK. For this example, I'll be taking advantage of the fact that the user does not have to click OK to close a card window. Instead, we can script a pause to allow the user to read our message in a custom dialog box before it closes automatically. I'm using one of FileMaker's starter apps called Inventory. I've already added a script trigger to this stock portal where we keep track of how many units we have on hand. If I were to drain the inventory completely, you'll see that I've programmed a custom dialog box to open up to let the user know that they've run out of product and it's time to reorder more. Having to click OK is sometimes an unnecessary and cumbersome step. So we'll be using a card window instead to recreate this dialog box as more of a notification window. To get started, let's take a look at the existing script. The script I'm calling is check stock levels where it checks to see if the units on hand is less than one. If so, then we're getting this custom dialog box to notify our user. I've started a open custom dialog window script that I'm going to set up to be able to handle several different types of messages down the road. My plan is to send the message in through a script parameter. So I'll go ahead and set that up now. Because we'll need to display our parameter on the layout, I'll be turning this into a global variable. Next, I'll open up a card window to display our message. I've already created a layout called Notification Window that I'll be using for this. We'll leave the height and width to auto size to the size of the layout, which we'll modify once we begin working on it. I'm going to disable the close button because I plan on adding a script step that will close the window automatically for us. Next, I'm going to add a pause. We don't want this to pause indefinitely. We want it to pause for two seconds to allow the user enough time to see the message before it closes. And next, I will close the window. And we'll exit script. We'll save this. And now we can call this script from our check stock levels script that we're using as a trigger. I'll comment this out and instead we'll perform a script. Our open custom dialog window and click OK. We'll also need to send our message in as a parameter to be displayed. I'll copy this text and put it in as our parameter. Now that we've saved this, we'll go into layout mode and navigate to the new layout that I've created called Notification Window. We'll delete the header and footer parts because we really don't need them. And we'll make the height 300 pixels 
by 500 width. This should give us plenty of space to add the necessary text that we need. We'll be displaying our message global variable and we will center this as best we can on the layout. I'm going to go ahead and center the text as well. Now that we have our message centered on our screen, I'm also going to paste in a notification icon to let the user know that this is indeed a warning. We'll save our layout and we'll go back to our inventory list. Back in browse mode, we can navigate to our widget. Clicking on this drop down will re trigger the script, checking the units on hand. So I'll do that now to test our script. And there you have it a custom dialog box that opens up and automatically closes. Thanks for watching.